Hello, and welcome to the short video on smoothing your strategic schedule in MindMax Scheduler using difference constraints. With MindMax Scheduler, you can optimize all aspects of your mind schedule on a single platform, including waste dumps, mineral processing, capex, and all your trucking requirements. In this video, we'll show you how easy and effective it is to use MindMax Scheduler's smoothing constraints to produce a smooth, practical schedule without having to run numerous iterations. First, we start at the MindMax Scheduler Constraints menu, where we have standard processing and mining constraints already set up. You can see that we defined a maximum constraint of 15 million tons for our mill feed, and 50 million tons for our total mining movement. Then we hit the Optimize button and go to Reports to review our schedule. In Reports, we click on the Summary Dashboard to see the charts for Mining, Processing, and Trucking. Here we can see that our mill and total mining constraints have been fully satisfied thanks to Scheduler's Constraint-Based Schedule Optimization. However, our trucking chart shows that trucks vary greatly between periods, which reduces the practicality of the schedule. Now let's have a look at how to use difference constraints to smooth out our trucking chart and to find the right number of trucks for our schedule. To do this, we want to smooth out the trucking chart with no variation between periods. In the constraints menu, we add the total truck constraint, set it to the difference max type, and enter zero for each period. We repeat the same steps to enter a minimum difference constraint of zero trucks. This ensures that trucking will have no variation going up or down. In other situations, we might want to allow a variation of one truck between periods. To set this up, we would enter plus one for the difference max constraint and minus one for the difference min constraint. This would ensure trucking could only vary up or down by one truck. Getting back to our example with no variation in trucking, we go to the trucking report and hit the optimize button to re-optimize the schedule. Once the optimization is finished, we can view our new schedule. We see that the constant number of 11 trucks is used each year, and our mining and processing constraints are still satisfied. Thanks to difference constraints in MindMax Scheduler, we're now able to develop a workable schedule with smooth trucking. Thank you for watching this short video on using difference constraints in MindMax Scheduler to develop a practical schedule with smooth trucking. For more information on difference constraints, contact us at www.mindmax.com.